All right. Well, on that note, we're going to move forward now. This being the Fraud Awareness Week, stakeholders from the private and public sector have been holding sensitization forums on the need to fight fraud in their institutions. In a forum organized by the OCS Group Kenya, the Association of Certified Fraud Examiners Kenya CEO Jane Mugo has quoted lack of proper financial auditing as one of the reasons that fraud has been so prevalent in Kenya. A slow judiciary system has also been attributed as one of the causes. Now, financial statements uh, fraud accounts for the highest number of reported fraud cases in the country, followed by asset misappropriation. There's uh, something that is being done, but I don't think it's enough. And that's why the problem is becoming worse. More effort needs to be put. Uh, of course, in the public sector, there's a lot need to be done because every day, there's no day you look at a newspaper or in media and fail to see something concerning uh, fraud or corruption in the public sector. That means a lot needs to be done. Before a, a, a fraudster or a white collar criminal is suspect, is convicted, a lot has to be done before it goes to the court. You know, the work of the court is only to determine whether there's enough evidence, or not even enough evidence, sufficient evidence to convict somebody. And that's why now where the problem is. And now on to the aviation industry. The Kenya Civil Aviation Authority, KCAA, has lifted the suspension of Silverstone Air's Dash 8 aircraft fleet. Compliance to safety regulations following an audit was cited as the reason. KCAA Director General Gilbert Kibe say that the KCAA confirms the airline has provided satisfactory corrective measures as per the requirements of the Civil Aviation Regulations 2018. It follows a comprehensive compliance audit on the operations and procedures of Silverstone Air Services conducted between 24th of October and 15th November 2019. The authority had ordered the grounding of the Dash 8 aircraft fleet on November 12th after two mid-air mishaps within the span of three weeks.